literally in the <laughs> Oh my God. Good evening, Tampa Bay, Florida. We're over by Channel Side. We're heading to the, the Unjet in the Water. Haunted experience at the American Victory Ship and Museum. During the day, you can traverse the ship, which has been used in World War II, the Korean War, and I believe the Vietnam War as well. But it is one of four ships from the World War II era that are still actively operating. Now for Halloween time, this is transformed into a haunted ship, which mind you, legend has it that the ship is actually haunted as well. There's other ships out here as well. Not a special effect. COVID-19 information and health and safety priorities. Good to see that even when the ship is haunted, they're representing Tampa Bay Lightning. Go Bolts. So the good news is, I reached out to the Undead crew, Undead in the Water crew. They're going to let us film in the ship, selfie style. So we'll be filming our experience like this. I got to be honest, I'm actually a little nervous. I just think because it's different surroundings. I love zombies. But maybe not tonight. Welcome back. You all must be gluttons for punishment. But it was exactly the type of people I need. We have the infected contained, and I have my men purging every sign of the infection from this ship. The good news is we've developed a cure. There's one tiny problem. Phase one wasn't exactly a success, but phase two is shown to be much more um, promising. One of my assistants got out with our only sample, but he's... You know. The zombies may seem slow, but close in on you in a heartbeat. Make sure you keep your distance. Anything within six feet, well, as good as dead. It's all starting. My name is Dr. Good. As you are well aware, the ship is infested with infected, correct? Yes. Alrighty. I have some good news and I have some bad news for you. The good news is that there is a cure. The bad news is it is lost somewhere on the ship along with Dr. Simone and Kaze. I have two missions for you. First is to find Dr. Simone and to obtain the cure at all costs. The second one is to not get infected. Do you think we can manage that? We're going to try. Alrighty. I need you to present your hands to me. I'm going to spray your hands. I'm going to have you rub them together for me. If your hands turn blue, you have already been exposed and you will be dealt with by the Ripper Squad. Oh, <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, rub those together for me. I'm like a Smurf. <laughs> Good to go. All right. All right. Thank you. Make sure you do not mess up this mission and right. make sure you bring me that cure. All right.
sure.
door set upstairs. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh boy. This is still my ship! This is still my vessel. Oh my god. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I wasn't expecting that again. Oh no. Now it's down. Now we gotta go back down.
bar type area. I can't trust you with that thing. I mean... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like after I fall, Mary says, watch it. Like... There I go again. If there wasn't a... Oh boy. You'll be okay. Oh, I hear a zombie. Maybe not. Channel side in Tampa, so uh, just to give you, if you're not familiar with the area, very kind of close to Emily Arena, where the mm -hmm. uh, Lightning play, and we've gone to a bunch of concerts and stuff over there. But um, we kind of stopped off um, at the wharf beforehand. Sparkling Wharf. Sparkling yeah. Wharf. They have another little mini haunted event going on, but more importantly, there's restaurants and yeah. beer like and beer stuff, like that. And and stuff like that. And stuff like that. It's really but, cool. Um, out, all outdoors. It's yeah. really nice. But Undead in the Water, um, there were a host of uh, monsters, or zombies. Zombies, throughout, yeah. Throughout the um, infected thing. So we've never been to the ship. So just to give a little bit of backstory, too, with American Victory, um, that is a World War II era ship. Um, and it runs as a museum during mm -hmm. the day. So you guys can go to the website and check that out um, during the day. There's nine floors, I think, to um, explore yeah. during the day. And I, probably, I don't think we hit could be all nine, around. but uh, we, we hit at least five. Yeah, so it, it's not um, it's not dolled up and made easier for you to navigate or anything. No, so like you're seeing, you like, have to crawl, well, not crawl up, but you have to walk up um, like metal ladders and so stairs next, yeah, i know yeah, but for me like it feels like a ladder you yeah know? it's like ladder like ladder-esque stairs yeah and you 
have to be very sure of yourself when you're walking and you have up to be and down. Careful, like we have a light on the top of the camera this time uh, to try to help illuminate when we were going through because we knew it was going to be super dark. Um, and and thank you, by the way, to the folks at um, Undead in the Water and American Victory. They allowed us to film. It's not something that's normally allowed unless you go to like a media night. This was not filmed on a media night. We missed media night. Media mm -hmm. night was the same night as um, the lightning um, celebration and oh, everything. They, yeah, they had the parades um, and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, we weren't able to make it over to Tampa for um, the event. So we knew that uh, tomorrow... We're heading to the Bucks um, by uh, Ray J, and we figured we'd make a night of it and stay over here and enjoy some adult beverages mm -hmm. um, and uh, go get scared. And we got scared. So. Oh my God, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we did. Because, you know, you're so unsure. I've never been in a... Sh well, I actually have. I was in the Intrepid, but... Yeah, um, years I haven't, ago. Yeah, many years ago. But, um, you know, you're walking through a very tight quarters, and you don't know you have no clue when they're coming out at you. <laughs> yeah, so loaded with zombies, loaded with other um, characters. There is a whole story to the haunt, and I love mm -hmm. when haunts have a story, and it's not just go through and... Get scared. Uh, and, yeah, get scared, know. people jumping out at you and everything. So um, I thought it was very, very cool. I can't believe that we slept on this as long as we did. It's um, been like three years now? It's multiple years that it's been out, and... I will definitely be back next year. This will be added to the list of things that we need oh, to yeah, hit. Oh, yeah, definitely. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the, the walkthrough. That's basically what we saw and um, tried to see. It's difficult when you have a light on top of your camera and it's facing it's towards you. It's blinding you, yeah. So in addition to being unsure, it was a little okay. extra unsure. But, yeah, uh, tripping a few times. <laughs> yeah, but it was, it was super cool. I'm, I'm super stoked that we were able to get to um, the, the event and... There was a line continuously for the time that we were there. And oh, and when we came out, the line was still, you know, forever going. Yeah, and when you're navigating the outside uh, corridor of the ship to get to the back, that you can see, like, port through the portals, there's people that are scaring you. And mm -hmm. port portholes. The portholes. Yeah, the portals. <laughs> the cake is a lie, but not tonight. Um, so um, when we were done and we were standing uh, outside... And, and down below, we could watch other people going by. Walking and, through, getting uh, scared. Getting scared at the same spots that we get scared. So Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, it was really awesome. So Great and time. The guy on the tether. Yeah, he's the MVP. Uh, MVP for sure. <laughs> so, uh, I also, I mean, I guess the last thought was, like, I really liked the way that they incorporated using hand sanitizer and distancing into the event also. Yes. Right? Yeah, I thought that was really well done. Yeah, sanitizer when you start, sanitizer when you're done. Mm -hmm. um, to make sure you're not infected and you want to stay six feet away from other people and other... And uh, the zombies. Uh, yeah, because otherwise it'll be curtains for you. <laughs> so, in any event, thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. Bye. We'll see you guys.